the WiseNet A-Series NVRs have an eight-step installation wizard that you have to configure before you can start using the recorders. This wizard can be configured using a monitor and mouse connected directly to the unit, or you can use your web browser and connect to the IP address of the unit to set it up the first time. The first step of the wizard is to select the language that you want to use. The second step is to configure the network settings. You'll see there are two network interfaces. Network 1 is the PoE ports, and Network 2 is the uplink that goes to an existing network or internet connection. You can specify a static IP address or a DHCP dynamic IP address that you're getting from your router. Make sure to enter the proper subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS settings for your network. You can also specify to turn on the DHCP server for the networks. That will provide IP addresses to other devices such as client PCs or cameras. For the camera registration method, if you select the default plug and play mode, when you plug in a camera into port one, that's camera one, port two, camera two. If you uncheck that, you have a lot more flexibility in terms of manually configuring which camera is which. And then there's an online upgrade notification where the recorder can check if there's a new firmware update and notify you about that update. Next, we're gonna set the administrator password for the recorder. Note the password guidelines shown here. You can use the on-screen keyboard or you can plug in a standard USB keyboard to make typing in your password easier. Type in a secure, complex password, and then you'll confirm it a second time. The next step is to set the password for the cameras. You can specify a password for factory default cameras, or you can use the already entered administrator password for those cameras. If your cameras have already been configured, you can specify up to three passwords for them to discover those cameras on your network. The next step is to set your time and date, time and date format, time zone, and daylight savings time. The field that says 2H indicates at what hour during the day the time will change. So in the US, that should be set to 2H or 2 o'clock in the morning. Next, you can specify your monitor resolution depending on the monitor that's connected. Next, you'll be shown the cameras that have been discovered on the recorder. Place a check next to any cameras you want to register and then click the register button to move them over to the right. You may need to hit the refresh button to discover new cameras if they've been recently connected or plugged in. If your camera password is not correct, you can either go back to the password section of the wizard or you can click the button here and edit the password for a specific camera. And then you can see a preview of the camera and if you are in manual mode, you can drop and drag the cameras to change their position. The last step of the wizard is the Easy Connect. Here, you can enable the P2P and DDNS function. That allows for easy remote access. When P2P is enabled and you have internet access, you can scan the QR code here with the WiseNet mobile app. You can type in the product ID into the WiseNet Viewer application. You can click the three buttons here, the WiseNet Mobile, WiseNet Viewer, and the NVR Web Viewer to be able to see more information about how to connect and how to get those applications. And then when you hit finish, you're done the wizard, and you can see your cameras on the recorder view. You can then double click on the cameras to view full screen. You have all the controls at the bottom, and you have your camera tree of options on the left. If you click the bar graph icon, you get the status menu. You can see the status of your system in live view, record, the network card status, as well as your PoE ports. This allows you to easily reboot a camera if you need. On the bottom right, you have the different multi-screen patterns that you can click on to select how to view your different cameras. And then you can easily drop and drag them 